Hey guys, KHVape here. Uh, just going to show off some uh, Pyrex tank. Uh, I'm going to show you, uh, uh, pretty much just give some detail about it and also going to put it together. I'm going to show you how to punch some carts and uh, how to fill it. So what I have today is a green double bubble Pyrex tank. Uh, this came from High Desert Vapes. Uh, as you can see, it is very clean, very uh, very good looking tank. Um, it's got two bubbles. I'm assuming that's why it's called the double bubble. Uh, but it's also in the inside here. As you can see, it's a little bit of a lip. Uh, so the reason why that was done was for these uh, grommets. Now these are just uh, silicone grommets uh, and they fit in here like so. This is to uh, surround your cart that you put in here to prevent leakage, to prevent slipping, uh, and they fit in there nice and snug. So this is what it's going to look like before the cart. Um, so yeah, this thing is actually pretty damn good looking. Um, I've actually been using this one just to kind of test it out. There's really not much to test. It's a tank, but I had some fun with it before I decided to do a video on it. Um, I got my regular drip tip here, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, punch some carts. Now, most people are going to use, because this is a pretty tall tank, uh, most people are going to use your uh, your dual coil smoke tech. Uh, these are already laser punched. As you can see, there's a punch there and a punch there. Um, and you can use these. Um, I like them. They work pretty well. There's no hassle with punching. Uh, but some people like to punch their own carts. They like a regular 510. Uh, and here's a 510 Bogue uh, sealed up. And we're going to punch this one because I know this one's pretty easy uh, to do already with just this. You just put it in here, pretty much fill it up. You're good. So going to do the, uh, I'm going to punch it. Now I also picked up a uh, bullet piercing valve. Um, this is actually sold as well on High Desert Vapes. Um, it's a little bit more convenient than most of your other uh, punch kits that you can pick up. I mean, you could use a saddle valve, you can use, um, there, there's other devices out there already made for punching carts, but I'm going to show you how to punch using one of these as you can get this all in one area. So there's a couple additional accessories that come with this, uh, these two little metal sleeves, and I'm not going to use these, so I'm just going to set those aside. Um, but here is your bullet piercing valve. Uh, it comes pretty much already assembled. Um, really, it's just going to take the Allen wrench and you tightening things down within the inside here. Uh, there is, right there, as you can see, there's a hole, and that's where it's going to punch because uh, you're going to tighten this down. And this tightens down, and a needle comes out and pops a hole in the side. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Let me go ahead and open up my cart. And if you want, set aside the condom so you can condom fill these, but we're just going to go ahead and take them off so we can punch it. Alright, so that's taken off now. Let's go ahead and let's put this bad boy in here. We're probably going to have to loosen it up a little bit so you can fit it in. Looks as if it's already loose enough. All right, so the best thing to do is to pretty much get, you want it centered uh, low down, probably about here. So what you can do, the best way to measure it using one of these grommets is to take and put the grommet on like so. So this is pretty much where it's gonna sit flush. So you want your hole probably about right where my nail is, about right there. So if you hold it up against this, you can see that I can pretty much go flush with the side here. Um, because in the center, that's the center of this right here. That's where it's going to punch, but on the opposite side. So I can put this in here and then put this pretty much flush. As you can 
can see it's flush right there. So then we're going to tighten it down so there's no movement. Let's get my Allen wrench. Tighten it down. And I'm sorry if I'm a little off cam, guys. Sorry if I'm a little shaky. I'm always shaking. So get it tight. And you want it tight because when you're piercing it, it'll actually move the cart. Uh, and it'll the needle that pierces it will slide down the side, which you don't want because it'll just make a huge gap. All right, so it's in there. It is pretty much, it's pretty flush. It's good enough. I mean, it's going to pierce it right where I need it. Um, so let's go ahead and pierce it. Now, if you listen carefully, I'm going to move this pretty close to the camera. If you listen closely, you can hear it snap as when you tighten it down. So I got it tight there. Let's tighten it a little bit more. It gets a little tough. All right, so it's probably pierced it. So let's go ahead and loosen it. Let's loosen these and we're going to inspect our punch. All right, so as you can see, it has punched it. And it's not too big. Um, you can usually, depending on how thick your juice is, you can usually just do one. Um, but I like to do two, even though I have a pretty thin juice. That does, of course, make it a little susceptible to leakage. Um, you're going to have some issues with flooding, but uh, I honestly don't have too big of a deal with it. So we're just going to do the same thing here to get a double punch. We're just going to line it up like so, so it's flush again. We're going to tighten these down so it locks in place. It's easier to do it like this. Maybe not. And I'm dropping stuff. The uh, link for both the tank and this cart punch are going to be in the description below. So if you're interested, feel free. Um, all right, so I'm just going to go ahead and tighten this one down again as well so we can get our other punch. And for some reason, I'm not hearing it punch. That's probably it right there. I guess it was really quiet, but uh, either way, the nice thing about this piercing valve is it's not going to punch it too far. Um, it'll pretty much stop you. There's only so far it's going to go down. Trust me, I've tightened the thing down as far as possible and it didn't make a big difference. It actually stopped me eventually and the hole wasn't gigantic or anything. Dropping stuff again. All right, so we'll inspect it. So there's that punch and that punch on the opposite side. So let's see how well I did with kind of getting an idea about that. As you can see, it sits uh, pretty decently. I mean, it's not all the way like right here, uh, but it sits right here. So it's, it just sits pretty good. All right. So we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to assemble this now that we have our punch. Now, again, you can cart, cart fill these using the condom. Um, but you don't have to. All right, so usually what I'll do is I'll just keep the one in here and just slide this in. All right, so here's the problem with the bogues. As you can see, it's not sticking out very far because uh, it's really not tall. I mean, you can get an XL bogue if you'd like to. Um, what I've been doing is just kind of pushing this down a little bit further, and then it's just enough that I can... Well, 
So with these double bubble tanks, uh, you, you probably need an extra large one. I've been using just the 510 on it. It's a little iffy, um, but it's been working. Not too big of a deal, not many leakages. So as you can see, it's barely at the center, about the center of that grommet. Uh, but with the drip tip in here, it seals it off just fine. And my cart's not too far in there. So this is a put together uh, double bubble tank. Again, this is a larger size, so you're probably going to want to go with your uh, dual coil cartomizers. They, they make an XL uh, Bogue 510 as well that you can pick up. Uh, but this is the uh, double bubble green Pyrex tank. It works really well. Um, I'm not going to show you the performance of it because it has nothing to do with the Pyrex tank. It has everything to do with the cart that you have in here. And everybody knows it's whatever they prefer. Um, but one thing I would say is the nice thing about these tanks is they're not specific to what you put in on them or in them, I should say, uh, that goes as far as here's a 801 fusion. This 801 fusion will fit nicely and the grommets will even fit the bottom of this. So this being the same from here to here, this being the same as that, sorry, from here to here, the same as that Bogue. Um, the nice thing about this is the grommet will actually allow this, or it will actually go over uh, if you want to shove it in a little bit further. If not, this still works the same way that that Bogue did. So the other great thing about these Pyrex tanks is they can take anything. They can take anything any juice no matter what i've thrown at this i've done fireball i've done um i've done you know your cinnamon and your and your menthol uh, banana which is prone to cracking tanks this is pyrex this will handle anything it's pretty durable as well um very thick uh, uh pyrex i've dropped this actually a couple of times on the tile floor and there's no blemishes from it being dropped. There's no scratches or dings or cracks. Um, it's fallen over with juice in it on a mod. It's fallen down and went like that. And uh, no issues with it. Overall, it's a good looking tank. Um, I can still see my juice and still get a nice color tank at the same time. Uh, so again, this was uh, just a little bit of a preview of this tank, pretty much how to assemble it. Also, I had a punch cardamizers. So, thanks for watching.